Hello YouTube, welcome to Wynn's World. This is my second installment of my retirement in the Philippines and I hope this uh, YouTube turns out better than my first. I left the first one up just so that I can remind myself <clears throat> how things have, have progressed and hopefully I'll get better uh, doing this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I wanted to go through the first two months that I was here uh, in the Philippines. I'm staying in uh, on Mactan, Newtown, which is outside of Cebu. Uh, it's a small planned community, uh, mostly high rises. It's got uh, a few stores and restaurants, as well as a couple of uh, nice hotels with good restaurants. My uh, first two months that I was have been here was a little bit of an adventure as you might expect. I uh, was fortunate to have located a consultant and a, I'll put a plug in for him, uh, Geo in the Philippines and he helped me to make a decision on where to go when I first came to the Philippines. Uh, apparently he had stayed here uh, in Mactan, Newtown for a little while and thought it was a good uh, first place to come. So he also uh, gave me some recommendations for hotels as well as airline tickets and how to purchase them. Uh, he introduced me to my real estate agent who helped me locate a, a property or actually a, a, an apartment. Uh, they call this a Studio Plus, which it actually has a separate room uh, for the bedroom. It just does not have a uh, door. It has a curtain, which is just fine for me. It has a, a very nice tiled uh, bathroom uh, with shower. Uh, it has a kitchen with came with an air fryer, rice cooker, microwave, uh, and stovetop. So, uh, and it was also furnished. So I did not have to be concerned about uh, buying pots and pans and utensils or a kitchen table or couch or TV. And it also came with internet. So uh, that was uh, very good. And uh, I highly recommend when you uh, come to a new location like this that you uh, get a furnished apartment. It will be a little bit more expensive, but it's well worth it. You can pick up and go whenever you want, um, and you don't have to worry about packing up all of uh, the utensils and the pots and the pans and shipping them somewhere else. You can just leave them where they are and uh, find another uh, fully furnished apartment. Uh, there are a couple of things that I've had to get accustomed to. Number one is the food, uh, and I'm still getting used to that. But uh, as you have probably heard, rice is a, uh, the main meal here. The uh, Filipinos will have rice every meal, and if there's no rice, there's just no meal. Um, I've had uh, food that I've never eaten before and uh, would probably eat again. Uh, I've had goat, which I never thought in my life I would uh, eat, but I did. Uh, it was good, and I would probably eat it again. Um, and of course, chicken. Uh, there is Jolly Bees, and it's it's not quite like uh, back in the U.S. Uh, if you get a two-piece dinner here at Jolly Bees, it's going to be maybe a thigh that's been cut in half. Uh, so I was not quite used to that. Uh, one thing that you'll have to get used to, accustomed to, is toting your water. 
Um, it's recommended that you don't drink the water here uh, in the Philippines, that you drink purified water. And they sell it in the little hand bottles all the way up to the 10 liter bottle. And that's what uh, I, I drink from. Uh, actually, I, I order uh, four liter bottles from Landers, which is a membership store. Uh, I can order online whatever I want from there that they have available and have it sent here. I think it costs an equivalent of about $2 to have it uh, transported to my condo. And otherwise, I would have to spend about a 45 minute round trip uh, in a taxi cab. And that would probably run, you know, between probably right at $16. So right off the bat, I've saved almost $15 by ordering my food and having it shipped to me. They also have an uh, SNR, which is another membership site. Uh, I just joined that site and went there two days ago and saw the produce and the products that they have. I was happy to see some of the things that they had. Uh, the, their hamburger looks good, their uh, cut beef looks good, uh, better than what I'm able to find at the local grocery stores here. Though uh, locally I do have a place called Robinson's and they have fresh chicken, uh, chicken breast, uh, chicken thighs, they have uh, ground pork, they're not too good about having a uh, fresh hamburger. Usually if they have hamburger, it's frozen and it's not quite used, uh, quite what I'm used to uh, like back in the USA. Uh, I'm fortunate that the little grocery store that is local is not more than a, probably a five minute walk. And also, uh, if you're toting uh, several large bottles of water, they have carts and the uh, stock guys there will push their cart, your cart with your groceries to your condo and drop your groceries off and go back with no delivery charge, which I found to be pretty helpful. When I first arrived here, I had some problems with my leg. Uh, it was excruciatingly painful. Uh, I was happy to have someone help me deliver my groceries. Uh, since then, uh, in another video, I'll explain what happened, what caused my pain, what I did uh, about it, the mistakes I made concerning that, and uh, what, it, what I ended up having to do was uh, go to the hospital, go to the emergency room, and was in the hospital for four days. So, and that has caused uh, a lot of problems uh, that I am resolving. It's getting much better. And I'm happy to report that uh, I don't think there's been any permanent damage done uh, to my health or to my body. Uh, I have found that there is a uh, hotel here that will cater to my request on breakfast uh, at the Belmont. Uh, they serve an American breakfast uh, which would have small waffles, uh, toast, bacon, eggs, sausage, and I believe some hash browns. And since uh, I'm trying to stay away from uh, carbs, uh, they're, they're happy to just make me eggs and bacon, and uh, that's all. No extra fee, uh, but I do get a considerable amount of bacon and a very healthy portion of eggs. Well, um, I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. Uh, it's funny that I can make a short list and the video would end up being like 10 minutes and I don't really want to 
have a, a long uh, video, so I'll cut this off here. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a little bit more interesting information for you on my third installment as I grow this channel, uh, as I become more comfortable talking to you, and uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if there's a question that you can ask me, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will respond at, as the best I can. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you and have a good day.